Hello and welcome to Wood Gas Stove Science. This is paint can optimization uh, and this is actually part nine. Uh, so in this video we're going to go through um, how to build an optimized paint can wood gas stove and we'll go through all the sizes of the cans, the size of the holes, and sort of the process that I went uh, through to build this. So we're going to start by talking about the outer can. The outer can is actually the quart paint can. The overall length is four and seven eighths, which is around 124 millimeter. And the diameter is four and three sixteenths, which is just about 106 millimeters. Uh, the hole in the top of the can is three and an eighth inches, which is around 105 millimeters. Uh, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to remove the top of the quart can and you want to remove just the lid because uh, you want to leave the bottom as sort of a uh, fire break uh, to keep the heat from going directly into the ground. Uh, now that lip underneath the lid is three and three eighths and that's 85.7 millimeter. Uh, so now back to the outer can. Uh, the outer can has seven seven eighths holes, one inch up from the bottom, and those are 22 millimeter holes, and they're about 25 millimeters up from the bottom. Uh, we're leaving one hole out uh, so the air, so we can turn it towards the wind. Uh, now on to the inner can. So the inner can is um, four and three eighths inch tall, which is around 111 millimeters, uh, and then the diameter of that can is approximately three and three eighths of an inch, which is exactly 85.7 millimeters. And you'll notice it's the same as that lip around the inside of that uh, lid on the paint can. Uh, so you'll see that there are 16 quarter inch holes around the top of that can, and they're about three eighths of an inch from the top. And that is six millimeter holes and that's around 13 millimeters from the top and in the bottom there are actually 64 um, quarter inch holes and those are six millimeter holes those uh, 64 there are 48 on the bottom and there are 16 around the outside um, lower rim that comes up with a ratio of four parts of primary air to one part secondary air uh, now we're talking about the flame concentrator now that flame concentrator is an has an inch and a half hole through the center and 16 slits now that inch and a half hole equals about 38 millimeters and those 16 slits move in towards uh, towards the outside of the um, lid and, and they're twisted up and then they're twisted sort of sideways to help that flame spin around. Uh, now we're talking about the pot stand. Now that pot stand is made from a Hunt's uh, crushed tomato can. And um, it is approximately four and five eighths inches tall, which is 117 and a half millimeters tall. Uh, and it's around four inches in diameter. Now it actually fits down over that paint can lid perfectly. So that four inch diameter is about 101.5 millimeters. Um, so uh, we have 16 holes around the outside bottom of that can and they're 5 sixteenths of an inch in diameter. They're half inch up from the bottom. So that's eight millimeter holes, um, roughly, um, 13 millimeters from the bottom. And around the top, there are eight seven eighths holes, seven eighths of an inch from the top, and those are 22 millimeter holes, 22 millimeters from the top. Uh, and then from the those holes are cut out uh, square. They're squared off at the top, and you wanna leave that rim around the top of that um, pot stand just to give it some strength. Uh, now we'll talk about the dampener. Uh, now this dampener was used to adjust the flame from a high powered flame to a low powered flame. And that was uh, made by cutting an inch and a half or 38 millimeters off the bottom of a second um, paint can. And then copying those seven eighths inch holes from the outer can uh, or 22 millimeter holes. Um, so the pattern is just about the same. Uh, and here you can see that as you rotate that dampener around, it reduces the amount of air that can flow in through those fresh air uh, inlets. Um, and here is a view um, of the flame. And you can see on the left hand side, uh, the fresh air intakes are completely open. And on the right hand side, the dampener is closed. So it's half closed. Uh, and you can see that the left hand flame is considerably higher and stronger than the right hand flame. Um, 
So this is how you're able to adjust your flame for cooking or even heating, uh, which is really pretty cool. Uh, you can also run this without that uh, dampener if you so choose. You'll just be running at uh, high power all the time. Uh, now to assemble this stove, you take the inner can and just snap it into the lid, and then you put that lid on uh, top of the uh, paint can. Um, then you put the cover on, which is now considered a concentrator, um, and then you put your pot stand on. Uh, now, so the, this is a video of the whole system working together, and you can see that um, when you put the flame concentrator on, the flame starts to spin around, and then as you put the pot stand on, the flame just intensifies. Uh, so each one of these is a piece to a system, uh, and it definitely helps um, you with your power of your flame. Uh, so here we're showing how compact this is. Once you're done burning it, you can take the pot stand, slide it down inside the outer can, and then you can slide the uh, inner can and the cover on top, and it makes a very nice, solid, um, non-rattling package. You just wrap a little elastic band around that, and you've got yourself a great packable stove. Uh, so here is the stove uh, right from startup. Um, all the way through till, till you have a uh, flame where you could actually do some cooking on it. And I'm running it at 10x, uh, so you can actually see how the flame converts from a regular burn up to a pyrolysis zone. And you can see the jets starting to form um, at the top of the stove around those secondary air inlets um, and the way it swirls. Uh, and here you can see that with the pot stand on, you get a very good flame, but um, I'll be removing the pot stand and throwing on a flame concentrator. Um, it does react a little bit, um, it, it like dies down a little bit, and then it really starts to react well. Uh, so I'd like to thank you very much for watching, and um, goodbye. Have a great day.